guys, the Benny Dorm enthusiast here with Benny Dorm Stuff YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to be focusing on the Rincon Deloitte area of Benny Dorm. We're going to be having a bit of a walking tour. The main street that you can see behind me is the Avenida Ametia de Mar. We'll be having a look at that street as well as some of the little side streets which come off it to see what's open and how things are doing around this area. The Rincon Deloitte area is on the far side of the Levante part of Benidorm. That's the opposite end of Levante to the Old Town. It's very popular with British tourists around here but generally not quite as mental or manic as the strip area and the centre of the new town. come across on this stretch of this main road which runs right the way up the Rincon is the Grand National. Nice to see some people outside in the sun. The weather has still been a little bit iffy. We had more rain last week and there is more rain forecast this week coming. But the sunshine does seem to be coming out on a weekend. Let's hope it stays a little bit longer. We're going to take the next right turn which is Caya Berlin and have a look what's up this street. On the corner you've got this little plaza where there's an Indian restaurant, the Curry Leaf. And next door to that is the Brunch Box which is an American diner style cafe bar. you'll come to up Caillou Berlin is the Triangle Pub. I've got a lot of love for this place. I spent quite a few years working here and had an absolute ball. It was closed for over two years during the pandemic so it's great to see it reopen again. We popped in earlier in the week to have a chat with Jo and see how things have been going so let's go see what she had to say. This is Jo, who I'm sure many of you will know. She's part of the furniture here at the Triangle, aren't you Jo? I am, yes. Are you glad to be back? I am, yes. Very, very, very good news being back over. Over two years? Close. Too long. Crazy, eh? And uh, how's it been going since you've been open? It's not been too bad. It didn't quite last week because of the, uh, the Easter holidays. But other than that, yeah, it's been good. Good weekends. Karaoke coming back? Coming back, yeah, we're interviewing DJs at the moment. Okay, and you've got it in the afternoons already? Yes, we borrowed Jay from Timeless Tavern. He's coming to do a few afternoons for us. He's a great DJ as well. He's fab. Good fun. Okay, and then what else is going on? You've got sports on, stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, all the sports um, in, the, in the evenings, in the afternoons, when there's not karaoke on with the sound and... Party on a night? Definitely. That's what the triangle's all about, That's isn't exactly it? Big it's party. About. So back to the, uh, the good old days. Me and you had some fun working oh, here together, brilliant. didn't we? Oh, we used to. Oh my God, the memories from what I can Back remember. Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> you know, it's great to see the triangle be open. Best of luck. Thank you very much, Lucy. Straight opposite the triangle is one of the main hotels in this area, Port Benidorm. A lot of you have been asking about the building work going on here. Well, there is no building work going on at this moment. The first phase of the extension has been completed and work won't recommence until the quiet season. On the opposite corner is the Plaza Bar, family friendly sports pub and restaurant. It's part of the same group as the Triangle and for those of you that have used these pubs for many years you may be happy to know that Helen, who I'm sure some of you will know, has returned to the Plaza. 
Helen worked here for around 15 years and is now back to help get the plaza back on its feet after a tough two years of pandemic. Bringing it back to its former glory as one of the most family friendly pubs in town. Continuing on our little tour and just up the street from the plaza are two popular tourist apartment complexes, Apart Hotel Levante Beach and Apart Hotel Levante Club. Avenida Estocolmo and there's another major hotel here. This one's part of the survey group chain, it's the Rialto and it's a three star. Another couple of small bars on this little stretch. The first one is the Queen Mary, established in 2001 and just reopened two weeks ago. This is Keith, nice to meet you. Hello darling, how are you? All right, you're from London? Yep. And when did you take over the Queen Mary? Well, about five or six years ago now. Okay, closed for two, over two years? Yeah, two years, yeah. What have you been doing with yourself in the meantime? Well, with the pandemic, yeah, well, I went back to went back to London and just got on the tools again because I sat here for a year, no, no income. Got no help off the government here and um, just had to go and get some money in the door. And now you're back? Yeah, now I'm back. Yeah, Raring look, to go. Yeah, looking forward to the season. Just starting to get a little bit busy now. Struggled for the first couple of weeks. Uh, looking for some staff. Everyone is? Yeah, everyone's looking for staff. At so the what moment. sort of stuff are you going to be doing at Queen Mary? Well, we do a lot of breakfast food, a lot of evening meals, groups of fellas coming for a, a jolly up. You've got the pool bit, table there yeah, as well. Yeah, we do a bit of everything really, wherever, wherever we can. Good stuff. Well, uh, best of luck we in keep, the future. We keep, yeah, we keep the food honest and, um, and we've got to serve good beer, so anyone out there wants to come and see us, we'd love to see you. Good stuff. Thanks a lot, Keith, right, and the darling. best of luck. And you, sweetie. Cheers. the unique lounge bar with South American Latino influences. All kinds of international dishes served there. And then next along on the corner which leads into one of the most well-known streets in the Rincon is La Mirada. This is an international cafe and snack bar on the corner. They do all sorts of food here and it's a good place to come and watch the football. It's on the corner that leads into Calle Laundries, which is a very popular street in the Rincon area. We'll be doing a full video on the Calle Laundries at some point in the future. For now, let's continue on this street and see what's further along. that's part of the Levante apartment group. This is Apart Hotel Levante Lux. We're gonna head around the corner now to our last stop for today, which is another long established bar, the Jukebox. The jukebox is directly opposite the Gala Presidia Hotel. Big sunny terrace here, a nice spot to chill out and soak up the sunshine. <laughs> 
thanks for watching guys that concludes our little tour for today i hope you've enjoyed having a look around the back street at the rincon deluxe area of benidorm make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future video updates and also check us out on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok at the benidorm enthusiast stay positive and stay safe